She swallowed it one day. And now she's taking Beecham's pills to pass the time away. <laughs> Beecham's pills. Worth a guinea a box. Right, part three, ladies and gentlemen. Are things about to change or will evil still be in the uppermost? Yeah. Now, we don't know, but it's entitled Treachery, a foretaste of hell. Ooh. The clouds gather to warn me. How did Tobias escape? Have I not enough enemies without his blabbing tongue abroad? I must be wary. I'll find him, and when I find him, I'll slit his throat. Ooh. And so rid myself of him forever. Then there's Mrs. Lovett. She's coming here tonight for her share of the industry jewels. Well, here and now, <laughs> I'll polish her off. <laughs> Coming. Well, Todd, I'm here as arranged. Oh, so you've come as promised. Yes, as promised. I'm so glad to see you. And you'll give me my due? Oh, I'll give you more than your due. <laughs> I want no more. The industry jewels are worth £20,000. Half of that sum is my due. £10,000, eh? But first, there's something that you owe me. Years ago, I lent you £200 to start your shop. Do you remember? I do. I want that back with interest at 10% per month. That amounts to £15,000. And so the net result is, you owe me £5,000. Is this a joke? You owe me £5,000. So you mean treachery. I expected it, and I've come prepared for you. Unless you give me my due, you see this razor? Yes. I'll slit your throat with it as you have done so many. Then sling your rotten body into the furnace over there. Oh, so that's your intention, is it, eh? Dear gentle soul. Well, you've got me. I suppose I shall have to pay. Here's the money. Ah! Take that, <laughs> you fool. You should know Sweeney Todd better than to think that he runs risks. You villain, I'll kill you for that blow. Ah, ah, you see, devil, you nearly cut my wrist off. First blood to you. You villain! I'll soon put you where I can no longer harm anyone. Ah, me fine lady, you played right into my hands. Here in the cellars where you've so long carried on your trade in human flesh. I'll send you where you'll never make pies again. Put down the razor. Never! Then your fate is on your own head. Ah, ah I've got the razor off you. Now, me fine lady, the razor is sharp and your throat is nice and white. <laughs> Last blood to me, Mrs. Lovett. So you'd sling my rotten carcass into the furnace, eh? A good idea. That shall be your fate. Let's pick her up. Oh, oh you great lumbering thing. <laughs> oh, what a weight she is. <laughs> now we know who ate all the pies. <laughs> Open the door. How positive. Go on. In you go. In you go. Ha 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 ha. How she burns and crackles. Ha ha ha. A foretaste of hell for you, Mrs. Lovett. That's how I polished her off. Ha ha ha. End of part three. <laughs>